Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I wanted to show you a quick tip in Outlook. This is great for beginners, but for everyone really, and that is how to use the spell check. So even if you're the best speller, you still are going to make mistakes sometimes, make typos, and you might be moving quickly and not notice what you're doing. So Outlook has a spell check that can prevent those mistakes from getting sent out. So we're going to start here in Outlook 2013, but these exact same steps will work for Outlook 2016. So if I'm replying to a new email message, let's say that I made a simple typo here. Now you can see that my misspelling is indicated by that wiggly red line under the word. And if you see that, you can right click on it and get some suggestions from the automatic spell check. But you can also run the spell checker for your entire message. And I find that it's easiest when you pop out the message. And then you have a review tab here in your ribbon. So you have actually a few different review options, but I'm just going to click spelling and grammar today. And you see the typo is highlighted in red. I get suggestions. And let's say that it's something that I actually intended to type that way. I could add it to the dictionary here so the spell check won't catch it in the future. I could even modify the autocorrect. It'll check my grammar if I want to. And once everything is fixed, I can cancel out of that and go on with my time in Outlook. Now, one thing I did want to mention, if you're using Outlook on the web, you'll notice that I still get that red underline, but there's actually not an option to run that whole system level spell check like I was doing in Outlook 2013. So the red underline that you see here is actually from your browser settings. It's not from Outlook on the web. So if you do want spell check and you're using browser-based Outlook, just make sure that you have the browser settings with spell check appropriate for whatever your language and usage and current situation is. Hope that helped. For more tips and tricks like this on Outlook and Office 365 in general, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.